Welcome back to the Son of Vanity YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about my 2023 night special. This is a review after 6,300 kilometres. I love this bike. I will tell you the couple of downfalls it has. One is luggage, but that's by my choice because you can buy bags for this. Uh, there's no screen, there's a little fairing, but no screen. But same thing, you can get a screen. I have done 2,000 kilometres in two days on this bike. I didn't find it a problem. And the third thing is fuel range. That's good fuel on me, but fuel range it will tell you about 260 kilometres. That's filled up, it just has a range of 255 kilometres. But because we were on a big ride, we managed to plan our ride. We planned to stop every two hours, which is plenty of fuel. But lucky enough in Victoria, not really any towns more than about 110 kilometres away from each other. So there's no problem. As I'll show you in a minute, it has the fuel warning light. It comes on at 79k right is on, so I'm going to get off the bike and show you the dash and everything. Show you around the bike a little bit. bike has a 19 inch front wheel, alloy, has tire pressure monitors on it, I'll show you that shortly. I've put four controls on this bike. I have the adversary dress up shit on it. So you'll see the foot peg there with the orange anodizing on it. The clutch cover, derby cover, rocket covers have the same treatment. Have a velocity stack on it. The exhaust system. The front half is stock. I have a SNS slip on muffler. I still have the DB reducer in it. You can find on my video the drags without it. I have the Crypto 60 bar on it. I have change your seats, this is the sundowner seats which would be more comfortable, I actually did do the 2000k on the stock seat wasn't too bad because we're getting off every two hours the advantage of this seat, it has this lip at the back it can stop you from sliding back under acceleration that was the biggest problem just the ugly side of the bike so there's only the one cover that's got the orange anodizing on it I'll put a sticker on here, break up the look a little bit. Same here, I'll put a sticker on. Everyone's uh, calling the bike Bumblebee. But I changed the name to Killer Bee. I have a Killer Bee sticker on here. Now it has the bar and mirrors on it, which actually work quite good, but it makes the bike a bit wide for lane filtering. I'm changing the mirrors. I have the rest of the adversary kit coming. I have the grips, the bar ends, and the mirrors coming. So I have a quad lock mount on here. I have a GoPro mount on here for my audio pack. And that one here for the camera. It has cruise control up here. This will go through the menu, I'll show you that shortly. There's other traction control up there which we didn't do at the drag until later, we found that was causing the problem. With, with another ride on the bike, we managed to get a 12.26 at 120 mile an hour out of the bike. 
That was only his first run. With a bit of practice and a bit of work, the bike will go quicker than that. That's a LED headlight, LED turn indicators. Now, so you this step. The common mistake I see a lot of YouTubers doing when they're doing a review on this bike is they go to start it up before it's gone through all its motions. Now this little light down here, the tyre indicator. Now I let the tyre down when I went to the drag stuff a day and never blew it up. And the weather's changed and got colder, so it's low on the tyre pressure. The traction control and ABS lights go out once the bike's moving, and with the engine lights. Now up here, we have a menu page. There, this is maps. I haven't got the app turned on, so there won't be any maps available. Music. Bike. Go in here. So you get his tyre pressures. Now the tyre pressure is too low on the rear, so it's showing that. That's a water temperature, voltage, diagnostics, if I have trouble. This is settings, and here's the general settings. You're going to customise the, road, uh, the ride modes, the appearance, the Bluetooth settings, trip reset. And you have a home page for you to go back. There is a button here for heated grips, which you can put on. I'm not putting them on. On this side, you can control your phone and your headset on your center helmet or whatever helmet you want to use. Once you've got it paired up to the bike, you're going to adjust the volume, make calls. As it flashes there, ride modes. So there's actually five modes on this. There's rain mode, road mode, sports mode, and two customizable modes. So you have to go into the bike to do that. There's a clear master cylinder so you can see what the fluid level is. That's about all I can tell you about the bike. It does have a low fuel light that comes on about 79 kilometers, so you have plenty of range. Comes on. The performance of this bike is awesome. I got to do some roll racing as well as the drag. So I know at the moment the speed limit is 183 kilometers an hour. We'll get that to change next time I go racing. Like I said, it's under 12, 2, 6, 120 mile an hour. 120 mile an hour, over a quarter mile for Harley is pretty good. I was surprised that I think it was a below centre of gravity. My eye can look like a dream. Really cool as well. Stay in light, 220 kilo full of fuel. So it breaks well. It's got Brembo brakes on it. Great bike. Now if I didn't mind about the look, I'd put the bags on it. I could actually do touring with it. But I don't need to do that. I've got my 2019 Cocktail Twin. I've actually put a top top on. It's got real good suspension on it, so it rides well. I'm going to say this ride's pretty good. It's got three inches of suspension travel. It's got two inches of ride with sports to it. I like it because this has a bit of an aggressive riding style. Even though the has rises, the rise the bars up to inches of 
to the back one inch compared to the original Nightstar. You still slightly lean forward, which helps when you're on the brakes to, to, to turn into the corners. Keep your eyes on sort a of 32 degree lean angle. I don't know if I've ever had to over that far. I just love riding this bike. Yeah, I, I love me swim, but I actually like riding this bike more. If you want to hear what it sounds like under full power, go have a look at my video when I've taken it to the drag of Heathcote last week. The bike has a low centre of gravity because the fuel tank's under the seat. You pull it up there under the seat, which has the position to hold suspended and adjust the suspension. Heading up by the key here. Did you have to carry the key with you? As well as the fob. That's the fuel tank down here, underneath. This is not a tank, it's just a cover out of the air box. Actually, it accelerates up to 36 an hour real quick. This basically has the same rider stance as my 883 iron that I just got rid of. That's what Ali is aiming for. Have a very similar to the Sportster, to the original Nightster. Overall, what do I think of this bike? Brilliant bike. Very capable of doing everything. But more suited for around town and locally in your state. Like I said, it's only got a range of 250 kilometres. But by, that, by the time you got that up, you're looking for a brake anyway. If you want a bike with open technology, great performance, great braking, easy to ride, this is the bike. Okay, it doesn't have the traditional Harley sound, but it doesn't sound too bad either. This bike would be ideally suited for someone who's coming off a sports bike and wants to go to Harley to chat without going to the food dresser or even a soft tail. Light, quick bike. Still got that upright seating position. The bike does come standard with mid controls. I've changed the forward controls. Only because I've got a knee problem. Mind you, I did do the 2000 case the mid controls and it wasn't unbearable. <laughs>